Hey there, Tom Romeo from PCS, and today we're going to talk about what is my IP. So what is my IP is a product that you can download from our website, that's www.compliancebc.com, and it notifies you if your public-facing IP address changes. So if you do not own a static IP and you need to know what your public IP address is, you can use this product. It will notify you uh, if it changes and it'll notify you by sending you either an email or an SMS. See, I've got a two email here, but I could also put a semicolon and put in my cell phone number at vtex.com or at att.net or whatever the SMS um, uh, email is. This is the from email that I'm going to use. I have a SendGrid account that I have through Azure, and this happens to be an Azure VM that I'm demonstrating this on. You could also use uh, Hotmail, Gmail, uh, or any other SMTP server service. However, um, they will then force you to prove that it is you using your account and not somebody trying to impersonate you. And, you know, there's just a few credentials you have to fill out to make that work. Uh, but right now, all I'm going to do is click the test button. And you see it says the email has been sent. And that was pretty quick. If it hung for a little while, then that would mean one or more of these settings is incorrect. And I heard an email come in and I'm going to open it and there it is. There's the email. And you see it says my public IP address is 2185 and my local IP address is 172.24. Okay, let's prove it. So if I now go to the folder where the software is installed, you see I've got some logs here. What is my IP log? Shows me that the service has started. The current IP is 20.85. Where's that email? Right? 20.185.179.122, right? And my local IP is 172.24.14.4. So those are in the email. So now once I receive that email or SMS, I know, hey, my IP address has changed and I can then do something about it. And that is it. That's the purpose for the product. Now, uh, that's all I want to do in this video. I want to keep the videos nice and short. Uh, but in the next couple of videos, I will demonstrate how to do it, let's say, with my Hotmail account. And perhaps we'll spin up a VM and create an SMTP server service on that VM. Now, the gotcha with using an SMTP server is your ISP might block port 587 and port 25, which would be your standard email ports, because they don't want their customers spamming out a whole bunch of emails. So you might have to negotiate with them to open those ports, or you could do what I'm about to do, not in this video, but I'm going to spin up an Azure VM and then I'm going to create an SMTP server service on that Azure VM, and it's going to use um, uh, Windows credentials. And then on my local PC, I will then put in my Windows credentials into these two boxes, along with a, a proper from email. And uh, that should all work, and we'll demonstrate that in a different video. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website.